Hey, everybody, I wanted to talk about some of the basics of Agent Force. And, and by the basics, I really mean the power that it has right out of the gate, right out of the box, using its standard actions. And the standard actions are, what, are the actions that Salesforce produces, develops, and ships with Agent Force. But they're also sort of the building blocks that allows the planner, it allows the engine to get to get its job done. So let's just try to get a get the activity timeline for Sophia Rodriguez. And it's going to take that that name and it's going to try to figure out what kind of record that is. It's going to figure out that that's a contact and it's going to use its identifying record by name, getting the activities timeline, but currently there are no activities. So it gives you this nice human, you know, conversational response. So let's, let's change that and say, add a task to do for her to follow up with a phone call. Now, one thing I want to note is that we're just saying her here because this is a conversational UI and we're in a session with Einstein. And so it knows that we're talking about Sophia Rodriguez here. We're going to follow up with a phone call and we, it's created the task for me here and it's, it's giving me a link there if I want to view that task. Now, I'm going to shift to a different contact and we're going to do the same task, get the activity timeline for correct. James. And it's going to analyze that. It's going to go to correct Jane. It's going to find that contact and boom. Now, because we actually have a decent amount of, of activities for correct, we see a, a nice, well formatted list here of the past and up upcoming activities. So once again, this is no customization. This is right out of the box. This is right. Uh, this is, this is, this is agent force at its core. Now let's change things up even a little bit more. Let's say we want to recap correct Jane's. And here, we're going to get a little bit of customization. We're taking what's normally a standard action, which is summarizing a record, but we wanted to get a very specific kind of experience here. We wanted to know what is Corette saying about us? What is she saying about you know the summaries that she has? And in order to get that to work, we have, uh, we have our friend Prompt Builder. And so if I go over to the prompt... You can see this is again, we didn't require any flow for this. We didn't require any apex for this. We ground it to the contact information. We've created this nice reusable template. And it also has, see how it has a little bit of logic to it? So we have a little bit of logic to it. Whereas if we want to do something like, let's go to this contact. I know he doesn't have any reviews. And so we're going to preview that. We have no surveys. We're, we're, we just we just want to cap it to that, keep it very straightforward. Remember that that response we got back when we didn't have any activities, we want to be able to emulate that. We can do that easily in Prompt Builder. And then if we go back to Correct, we see that it sticks to the rules here that we've highlighted. Write a single paragraph, keep it under 250 words. I want to know a little bit about the quotes that she's actually putting into review. So I have a little bit of context to correct before I reach out to her. And then just for fun, we end with an emoji. So I hope that I hope that really kind of sets the stage for how powerful Agent Force is even before we start building on top of it and how useful it can be for your teams. Thanks for listening, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.